What's going on, everybody? Uh, as uh, Axial Fest is getting closer and closer, I'm uh, slowly getting my trucks together here. Um, don't have much time today. It's kind of hard to see, but not only is it getting kind of late, it's also getting ready to storm pretty good from the looks of it. So. I've got to get this done pretty quick, but I just wanted to uh, come out and test a couple of the things that I've done to the base camp here in the last couple days. Um, I'm still running the tusks. I think that was the last thing that I did on video anyways. So. I ended up putting the copperhead and the 2280 castle motor in it. Uh, this is basically going to end up being my all around trail truck uh, over there at Badlands. Um, I think I am going to have to bump up a couple teeth on pinion size though. Uh, it's a little bit slower than I'd like, but that's an easy fix. Uh, the only other thing that I've done, I believe, since the last time it was uh, on video here, is I have added some outer portals, or outer portal weights, uh, some cheap Amazon brass, so hopefully that'll uh, help out with the weight balance situation. Uh, it's a pretty light rig overall. Um, and even with all of the uh, electronics, you know, center and forward and the battery clear up front, um, still didn't have quite as much forward weight as uh, I normally like. So, like I said, I think that that is about it for this one. Um, I doubt I'll get to it today, but hopefully tomorrow I get home a little earlier and the weather's nicer. Uh, made some big changes to the Gapra, so I'm really excited to see what that one's going to do now. But we will uh, go ahead and take this thing around the pit and uh, see how it does with uh, what it's got now so right off the bat I will mention that it did just get done raining a little bit uh, before I came up here so this is going to be kind of uh, an extenuation of the tusk tire test as well uh, this will be the first time that I've run them uh, wet. Uh, all of the obstacles aren't soaking wet or anything, but uh, the tire's got a fairly decent coating of uh, moisture and grime and uh, cow poop on the way up here. That usually translates to a uh, fairly slick tire situation. And uh, the last couple days we've had intermittent rain. So the, the pit itself, it's kind of hard to see there, but it's still uh, pretty well drenched. So we'll be uh, caking the tires up with mud here pretty soon as well. Yep, there's some slidey action. See if that extra weight on the front helps here. 
I know I've been in that situation before and it always rolls. Oh. Well, it didn't roll, but the tires didn't hold either. Definitely after Axial Fest, there will be a head-to-head uh, -head tire test between the Tusk and the Crawlers for sure. I am curious to see how how these tusks uh, stack up against the crawlers. I'm just curious for the handful of you that seem to watch at least most of the videos. What do y'all think of the uh, heavy equipment? Are you guys into that kind of stuff at all? Man, that video seemed to do pretty well. But I wasn't sure if it was uh, the crawler audience or if it was just the uh, heavy equipment audience finding those videos. I didn't haven't had any uh, comments on that particular video yet. Wasn't sure who was actually watching it. Either way, there's definitely going to be more of uh, more of the equipment videos as well as crawler videos. But that. Uh, heavy equipment side of the hobby man that's uh that's an awful lot of fun these tires definitely don't like to be uh wet and muddy i can tell you that much there's definitely a pretty big gap in the uh traction profile at the moment here I was really thinking that they were uh, at least as good as the crawlers were but what I'm seeing currently I mean, I've had the crawlers in muddier situations than this and they still stick pretty good I don't even know if I should try this climb here because it's just going to be Mud City. I'm sure it's going to be muddy over at Badlands, so I guess I may as well give her a shot. She's definitely going to have to have a healthy diet of the beans, that is for sure. Shabby, not too shabby at all. and uh, 
up and around this side of it. And I want to try to come down that center section that we just went up. That's one section that I could not do a slow descent with the base camp before. Uh, the ice end of the truck always wanted to come on over the front end of it. Because it was such a vertical descent and the rear of the truck had just about as much weight as the front didn't really want to stick it to see if uh, see if that brass helps that situation or not Carried away watching my own footing. Wasn't watching the truck. Alright. Let's see how she does this go around. Try to take it nice and slow. I mean, I could I could come down this with the base camp and you know, feed her the throttle and she would bounce her way on down, but right here, okay, so it actually, it lifts the back tire, but the front stayed planted. That's what I like to see. Very noticeable difference with the brass on the front. Very nice. I can hear the thunder in the distance. There's actually uh, a few tornado warnings off to the north and west headed this way. So that's going to be fun. probably get here just about dark or a little after unfortunately no storm chasing today so, I've seen pretty much all I need to see at this point um, pretty happy with the way things have uh, turned out here I just need to uh, swap pinions out and uh, gain a couple extra teeth so I can get a little bit more top end out of it and uh, I think I'm going to call this one good for Axial Fest um, the, the biggest changes that I've made to any of the rigs is going to be with uh, with the Gapra It has uh, seen a complete electronics overhaul. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this video, but we'll just say that uh, it's it's now brushless and it's got a badass steering servo in it now. So with the LCG and the uh, forward skid setup and the high clearance links and the capper portal axles that should be one badass rock crawler uh, just for slits and giggles i'm gonna come up here and check out the dig site while I'm up here see if the cows have destroyed it any more than they already had when I get dark up in here that's for sure 
the rain definitely washed washed it down a good bit and yep the cows have uh, definitely trampled things down a bit to say the least This was all uh, nice and smooth driveway up the center where I'm going up right now with uh, two big piles on each side. Off to the right was more dirt and off to the left was more sandy gravel area. We're gonna be digging out from this hill up here. what we can get into but not too shabby though definitely glad that we got some rain for this area right here get everything nice and packed down and ready to start digging it's been so dry lately that it was uh, kind of difficult to make a decent enough road to drive the equipment on. It, it wouldn't pack down. Everything was so loose that the, uh, the dump truck wouldn't even think about making it. Even this little gravel area right here, since it wouldn't pack down, I mean, that's probably an inch deep just mainly sandy gravel and uh, being as that dump truck uh, just the rear two axles are powered even though they're locked you know, locked differentials uh, it didn't even think about making it and the front end loader um, that thing has got some traction issues so doing anything with that and the loose, dry stuff is also an issue. So, the rain was definitely welcomed. However, that, uh, that excavator, that thing was a beast. That thing is a beast. So, after running the uh, the rest of the equipment I uh, I really didn't have super high hopes for that excavator but man that thing uh, definitely surpassed my expectations can't wait until after axial fest I mean I'm excited beyond words for axial fest but I can't wait until after Axial Fest and I can start uh, getting into the equipment side a little bit more. Well, I think that's going to probably do it for today. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this thing. and Like I said, it's just going to be my general trail truck over there at Badlands. So I don't need it to do anything super special or fancy. That's what the other two are for. So, like I said, hopefully the, uh, the weather is decent enough. And I get off work early enough tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get a video out with the Gapro and all of its latest upgrades. And uh, check that beast out. And then next on the list after that is pretty much a bomber overhaul. Uh, it's got to get tore down almost completely. So, see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.